welcome to the transport phenomena subject again today we are going to talk about mass as well as molar transport to convection earlier we spoke about only mass transport fick's law of diffusion was given in the terms of mass concentration mass flux and mass average velocity when the <coughs> So, molar units are also to be considered and let us actually extend our discussion to molar units too. When the chemical reactions are involved, when the chemical reactions are involved, molar units are usually preferred. When the diffusion equations are solved together with the equation of motion, mass units are preferred. This is case one and this is case two. Therefore, we need to familiarize with the both descriptions quantity now the mass and molar concentration if i if you just look at to uh, look at this particular diagram here so here if i just so this is part one and this is part two this particular symbol that is rho subscript alpha it is a mass concentration. So what is that? It is the mass concentration. Now you take this here. We have something called something called C alpha, small c alpha. It is a molar concentration of the species. They both are defined here. Mass concentration. See, uh, the difference between this notation and this notation is quite different. This says density of the species I, species alpha. This is the mass concentration of the species alpha. So that is how you have to maintain the things. The mass concentration is defined as the mass of the species, mass of the species alpha. Now we are referring to alpha here. Mass of the species alpha per unit volume of solution. So here we have something called mass by volume unit service. Now rho here, rho here you see this is a rho. Rho is the mass units of solution, and that is rho is the total mass of all species per unit volume of solution. Now W here is the mass fraction of the rate of change. Let us not write W like this. Let us write in an early manner. So this is R W alpha is the mass fraction of species alpha. It is what? Mass fraction of species alpha. Okay. Okay, I understood. Now, if here we say this to be as the mass fraction. Here we say that to be as the mole fraction species. Mole fraction is given by x alpha is equal to c alpha by c. C is a total total concentration. C alpha is a molar concentration, right? Or we can say c as to be as the molar density of the solution. Okay, that here the rho. Which is shown here, C which is shown here are the two important terms. Rho is the mass density of the solution. There is rho, and rho is the total mass of all species per unit volume of solution. C is mass density, that is total number of moles of all species per unit volume of the solution. So some of the relations here, if you see, we have rho alpha mass by volume. Okay. So if I write like this kg per meter cube. And C alpha is moles per volume. That means kilo mole per meter cube. <coughs> C alpha is equal to mass concentration different in the number of moles per unit 
volume of the solution. So total solution is talking about. So here is a now if I do it like this, rho alpha by C alpha small letter this C alpha kg per meter cube by mole per meter cube. These two get cancelled. You are left with kg per so this is the units of nothing but m. M alpha is m alpha is mean molar mean molecular weight of such. So that is the it is. The other parameters are easily understood here. It's a university approach. Okay. 